Alright, so I had a comment on a video asking me to make a... to show someone how to make this audio spectrum that was like a couple circles. It looks like what you see on the screen right now, basically. Except it had a picture in the middle, a little circle. Um, and uh, a little bit of a color effect that made it look like it was kind of glowing. I'll add that, but here's kind of basically what it'll look like. So the first thing you want to do is have After Effects and then after you do that open it and then go to composition make a new composition or control N make sure it's the size you want 1920 1080 is 1080p 30 frames per second 10 minutes long is pretty good let's just start okay so after that go to layer make a new solid make sure it's the same size as your composition and then do that click OK right click on it uh, effect generate and then advanced lightning what the hell audio spectrum not advanced lightning I don't know what that is I should try that sometime though audio spectrum uh... For the, make the change the numbers that I change to what I change them to. So zero for that one, nineteen twenty for that one. That makes it the size of the the whole screen across uh, there. And then end frequency somewhere in between two hundred and four hundred is pretty good. So I'll just go right in the middle of that three hundred frequency bands it's up to you but I'm gonna say 200 maximum height you can change all these around to what you want but like you don't have to copy me but you can if you want I'd say like uh, I don't know 1500 maybe audio duration that makes um, I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of looks faster when you have the number lower, but it looks smoother and slower when you have the number higher. So I like it looking smoother, so I'm going to change it to like 200. It's pretty good. Uh, that amount. Uh, side B down there. It doesn't matter what color. You can change it to whatever you want. <coughs> And then to make it the circle, oh, I already have it there. You search, go over to this thing, search polar, polar coordinates will come up. Drag that over there. Make it 100%. And then change it to this, the first option right here, rectangle to polar. And then it makes it a circle. Magic. Okay, so after that, you <coughs> can be done if you want. If Oh, I didn't even add the song. Okay. So, you need to add a song to make it go with the music. So, I'm going to say that one. That was already in there. That's cool. So, put that down here. Go back to the effects on the uh, black solid right there, the audio spectrum. And change the audio layer to the song. <coughs> After that, it should, like, uh, move and stuff. Yeah? Like that. Let me get it to get there. Usually the bass is on this side, and then, like, the lower stuff is over here. And then, uh, if you want to make it like this video that is on the screen right now, then you copy and paste it. Every time you copy and paste it, you have to change the audio layer right here back to the song again. I don't know why, it just gets rid of it, so yeah. And then, rotation, no, not rotation, actually, yeah. Make it 90 degree rotation, and then, um, 
what next? Oh yeah, the scale is 80% for that. And then since it's sticking out, you should probably lower this to like 600 or... Yeah, that's perfect. Something like that. And then copy and paste it again. Make sure it's synced to the music again. And just 20% down every time for the uh, scale. And then make the rotation zero so it looks like this. And that's pretty much it for the like the basic look. And if you want to do some special stuff to it, make it look kind of better, get like a picture or something, put it in the middle to make it so it's not just plain. I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna add an awesome face. Put that right in there. Right. All right. So I just skipped a little bit of me uh, changing the size of this and uh, moving it around so I could get it perfect in the center. But uh, okay. So after that, you can change the colors if you want. I'm going to put a white background behind this so I can see when I change the color to black. By the way, if you want to change the audio spectrum to black, for some reason it won't let you, so you gotta go to uh, type in tint over here, drag that on there, and set both colors to black, and then it's black. Yep, that's it. So, what next? Oh yeah, I should do that for all of them. I just changed it to black because the outline of this smiley face thing is black, so I figured make it the same, you know? Anyway, so next, if you want to add some glow to it, you can just... You could add the effect called glow, but it's just not that great. The best way to do it is um, to just get all the uh, audio spectrums all the black solids is what they're called on there. Just I'll copy and paste. You have to link them to the music again. And make sure they're all connected to the uh, music so they sync to it. And go over here, type in fast blur so the bottom one just fast blur not CC radial or whatever drag this over here and I'd say set it to like 8 probably yeah 8 it's pretty good and then uh, copy that paste it on the other layers you can see it adds kinda like a shadowy glow looking thing it'll just make it to the same color obviously um, but you could just leave it at this, but each time you uh, add more, you could copy and paste it again and then change the uh, fast blur to like 16. So it's slowly getting more and more glow on it, but each one you add will add more render time. Like the videos I used to make, they had a ton of glow on them, and since my computer is pretty shitty, it took like 8 hours to render a 3 or 4 minute video. It sucks. But, uh, you can do it if you want. So just copy that again, and do this shit. And that actually looks pretty good right there, but if you want it to be kind of a more spread out glow, you can change go into the ones you copied and change the uh, fast blur amount to double what the other one was, so 16. That really did not change shit, but you can just keep copying and pasting it and 
if you want to. I mean, it'll add more render time. But that looks pretty good right there. It's just a little bit of glow. It adds something extra. And that's basically it for the uh, how I made the other video. This is about the same thing. But if you want to get a little a little more of an effect that goes like it pulses forward with the music, you can um, you can do that too. So you just after that create a new composition. Um, I'm gonna name it Final because it'll be the final one. Wow, what the fuck? What did I just do? What the hell is this? Well. I'm a little confused. Not sure what I just did. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even create a new composition. Okay. Just, uh, like I said, create a new composition and name it final or whatever the hell you want. And, um, go back to the project and find the uh, other composition right here it'll be listed up here as whatever it's named down here you take that and you drag it in here and oh yeah you need to get rid of this you can't have a background or anything on the uh, first composition you just because uh, it'll copy it over here what I'm gonna do it'll it's gonna pulse the screen and if you have a background it'll change the background too and you don't want to do that so just don't have a background here just have the audio spectrum floating right here basically with a black with nothing in the back and uh, yeah you put it in this composition this is where you can put a background so you can see the audio spectrum better <sighs> I just threw up <coughs> So, after you have this other, the first composition dragged into here and you have a background or whatever, you don't have a background, do whatever you want, you have to go up here, put the song in here, right click on the song, keyframe assistant, and then convert audio to keyframes. And you don't have to do this part right here. I just like it because it makes uh, the keyframes. It since the uh, I'm gonna make the picture or the audio spectrum right here kind of move forward and backward depending on how long how loud the song is. It'll look kind of jumpy if you don't um, if you don't do this part that I'm doing right here. So you Alt click on that little stopwatch on slider right there, and then type in smooth. Uh, that thing, I can't remember what it's called. Smooth 0 0.05 comma 11. And then another one of those, whatever, I can't remember what they're called. And then that takes all the keyframes and it smooths them out. So they're not like jagged lines going up and down. It kind of makes them round and, and it just makes it look less jumpy and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, after you have that audio amplitude layer there, go and open up the uh, first composition right here. And the code, or the uh, expression code text thing, I have it in the video description, so go down there, highlight it, it'll look like this. It starts with the min audio part, ends with SS in brackets. Copy that. Go to scale, hold down alt, click on the stopwatch right next to it, control V, or command, whatever computer you're using, depends, paste it in there. Alright, so after you paste that in there, you'll see this thing change, and it kind of moves forward and backwards with the, uh, with the music. It mostly, uh, yeah, it kind of moves forward and backwards with the music, so... Oh, and if you want to, you can do this for anything you're doing in After Effects. If you want to make everything render faster, just select whatever that you have an expression on, which the only thing I put an expression on in this project is right here. That's it. 
I did put one on the audio amplitude, but that doesn't matter because uh, this thing is the only thing that's like a video, or that's actually going to render, that's actually going to process what this is doing right here. Instead of having this thing, having to like calculate each keyframe, each single frame, how big the scale is going to be, you can just for any you can do this for any project again you go select whatever has a expression in it and press u and then it opens up anything that has an expression make sure it's highlighted and go up to animation keyframe assistant convert expression to keyframes and some magic stuff happens just gotta wait a minute and it basically turns this expression right here into keyframes so you can just delete the expression but it'll still do the same thing it changes the size of this to the music so it renders faster that way and that's about all that I think I did on the other one it's not really that exciting but it's I mean it looks kinda cool and uh, if you make each audio spectrum a different color you could put like a a circle so like add a shape a circle inside whoa shit add a <laughs> add a circle inside this second one and make it the same color as this audio spectrum and then add a, another color right here and add the other circle behind that so it'll look like it has layers with audio spectrum kind of coming out of it, it looks kind of cool I don't know if you you get what I'm saying, but I mean, that's just a suggestion, but... Yep, that's about it. I'm gonna render this a little bit and put a clip of it at the end so you can see what it looks like. Uh, bye. I love you. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah.